What's up, degenerates? Mad Morrigan here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, we are joined by none other than John the Shark Hanlon. Just wanted to touch on his big success lately with Ewick. What a little horse, John. Did you think going over to Sandown you could take down such a prestigious race in the Bet365 uh, Gold Cup? I tell you, I go on to Sandown, I didn't realise how big a race it was. And um, no, I went over with a real chance because he ran in the Toxer and I thought jumping the tour, fourth last in the Toxer, he went way too front and he stays home forever. And um, I knew his horse whipped him out, but a fair juice to Gordon Gaffer pulled him up. And he was good, he said, listen Jack, he said, I was only getting, to, getting going at the time. But we went over with a real chance and thanks be to God we brought back the gold. Yes, and a nice price he was. Funny, uh, he was such a big price because if the little mishap didn't happen in the Midlands National, he, after coming in off the back of such a decisive win in Sedgefield, you could have been a lot shorter price. So it has a funny way of working out. Tell me this, future plans for Ewick definitely the world's his oyster he's only a young horse and uh, what a tough little horse yeah he's tough out and he loves the trip um we're going to go for the galway plate with him it might be a little bit sharp but this galway is tough and there's a good hill out at the bottom and if he's there at the bottom of the hill in galway it's like a good one to beat him yeah. and um probably end up going for a carry i won a carry national years ago we had to beat I'd love to win another one. We were just unlucky, as a matter of fact, I had a little story about the horse. A few weeks was to go to um, the Kerry National last year, off, off a 10-2, and I, I realised the week beforehand that um, he wouldn't get in. And um, I went to, I went to Perth, I thought he'd win in Perth, and he got beat, beat in a shark head. So unlucky and loser, and unlucky loser. Stayed on, yeah. And the horse that beat his that day, Manila Trump went on and won seven in a row. That's right. So we were just unlucky what we ran. And if I had to win that day, I would have got five or six pound. I would have got into the Kerry National with, with probably 10 stone two. And we were only barely, I think we were only three out of it. And we would have been in. So if you had to yeah. win that day in Perth, we, we would, would, would have got in. But um, we, we'd probably go this year with 11 and a half stones. There's a big difference between 12 st uh, 10 stone 2 and, 12 and 11 and a half stones. Yeah, so. he, it's definitely an interesting race from he, he was a dynamite winner there over hurdles. Yeah. Uh, very impressive. He was slick. He was down the inside. He'd done it all right. He travelled well yeah. and he hit the line like a good horse that day. So Curry National could be an, an ideal uh, scenario for yeah, him. Yeah, he, and he, he ran around. I was sick coming home with Curry after he went in that day uh, because he won the, the hurl and I thought I would have won the, the Kerry National on the performance, on, on the yeah. farm, so uh, but listen he's a lovely little horse he costs very little money and he 800 quid or 850 quid there in Gorse Bridge and uh, into a lovely horse to have of course the dream is still alive for you at lads the goal will play it next maybe on to the Kerry National for now Shark Hanlon the very best of luck and thanks for taking the time to talk to Colbert Sports well done thanks